Hey everyone, it's Velvet. Welcome back to more Coffee Talk. In the last one, Lua and Hyde both showed up again, and Hyde gave her his advice on her situation with Bailey's. But, uh, <laughs> Freya was not happy with how harsh she was being. So that was fun. Either way, let's start our day. By the way, have we gotten any new stories? Because I, I think I missed one yesterday. Yeah, I missed the one yesterday, so let's read both of them real quick. Uh, French Kissing a Cat by Freya Fatima. So what's the craziest thing you've ever done in your life? Asked her dating app partner. Pretty bold question to ask on your first date, Akari thought to herself. And in the first hour as well. Are you sure you want to know the answer? She asked back. Definitely. I think it's the best icebreaker question, and it's also a good indicator. Indicator of what? For how compatible we are. And... And? Well, you know, I don't mean to offend you, but just in case your answer is, I cut someone into 12 parts, or I strangled my Tinder date till he died, it's an indicator that I will immediately run away. Fair enough. Akari's interest in this guy increased. Maybe, just maybe, he could handle her story. So, do you want me to go first? He asked. I'll go first. Although, it's more like a crazy hobby of mine, not something I just did once so I could tell the story for the rest of my life. Color me interested. So, I love to kiss cats. That doesn't sound too crazy. I'm talking about lips to lips kissing, especially French. I love French kissing a cat. Um, what? Her date responded without hiding in surprise. You never tried it? If you feel uncomfortable with kissing a male cat, you can always try doing it with a female one. I I'm not sure that's the issue, but go on. Are you telling me you've kissed a female cat before? Both male and female. I'm pretty flexible. He didn't say anything. Which was unsurprising, considering such secret secrets weren't usually revealed on a first date, or ever, for many people. It's not that bad, you know. Here, let me tell you about the first time I French kissed my cat. I was about 14, an age where most people feel curious about many, many things. Especially, <clears throat> sexual stuff. But I had no boyfriend, so I couldn't just ask someone to uh, help me practice kissing. But I did have my biggest love at the time. Her name was Orin, and she was a beautiful orange cat with a gorgeous pair of shiny orange eyes. Her date still hadn't responded, so Akati continued. Seeing her beautiful eyes, I got an idea. I decided to borrow my mother's red lipstick and paint my lips red. It was a mess, but I was pretty satisfied with the results. I picked her up as usual, and without her knowing, I quickly put my lips on hers. Of course, she clawed her way out of my grip, but just in that quick moment, I felt something weird. It's the same feeling you have when you ride the merry-go-round the first time. No, roller coaster would be a better comparison. After that, I started honing my skills, and now even stray cats don't mind me kissing them. To her surprise, Akadi noticed that her date hadn't left her alone in the cafe, unlike previous dates she'd told her story to. Are you crazy? The man asked with his eyebrows halfway to his hair hairline. His eyebrows halfway to his hairline. <laughs> well, you did ask about the craziest thing I've ever done. Why? You're not interested in kissing a cat even after listening to my story? God no. I'm a dog person for God's sake. Uh huh. So he's kissed dogs. Got it. What the hell was that? Freya, what the hell was that? What's your next story? Swipe right to outer space. Hello there, I'm a female alien. That's what you call us, right? From a planet located in a galaxy the humans call Andromeda. I'm here to make sure my kind can survive longer and spread farther across the universe. That was what was written on her dating app profile. As a sci-fi nerd, I didn't need to think much about swiping right, even though the pictures she was using for her profile were just cosplay silhouettes and weird, artsy, spaceship-like photos. 
And here she is now, sipping her cup of Papua Omena, looking exactly like the dream girl I've always fantasized about. Dark bobbed hair, thick eyebrows, sharp eyes, and a never-ending smile directed right at me. So yeah, I came to this place like 168 hours ago. There were 12 of us, and I'm the lucky one, being located in a place with such fantastic drinks, she says after some time spent explaining about her task as an alien. I love sci-fi, but this might be too much. She hasn't said anything about her job, where she was really born, or any other normal stuff. Maybe she's crazy. That must be it. No way such a perfect looking girl could be perfect on the inside too, I say to myself. So what's your plan? Are you going to release this story as a novel, comic, game, a movie? I ask her. What story? The story you've been telling me. It sounds like it could really be popular if you d adapted it into the right medium. Well, I've been telling the story through social media and dating apps. That's not enough. If it could become adapted into some sort of mainstream media, you could be rich, you know. You could be famous. Mmm, famous. Does that mean more of your people would know about my people and our mission? Definitely. And it, with exposure like that, it should be easier for me to meet humans with high-quality seeds. Um, yeah, I guess. Okay, then. Where should I start? High-quality seeds. Uh, moving on. Suddenly, my phone starts ringing. It's my best friend. Uh, pardon me for a minute. I need to get this, I say to her as I answer the call. Yo, dude, who the hell is that chick you're with? She's freaking gorgeous, man. My friend's excited voice meets my ear, an overly loud whisper I'm immediately suspicious of. What? Are you at our usual coffee shop? Yeah, bro, I'm lining up at the counter. Do you see me? Oh, yep, there you are. You lucky bastard. Where did you meet that beauty? Man, I always love it when they grow their hair super long and color it like that. Huh? What do you mean? Uh, the chick, bro, sat right in front of you. She looks just like my ideal girl. Long hair, all rainbow colored like that, big eyes and those cheekbones. I put down my phone and stare at the round-cheeked girl in front of me with a strange mix of emotions. Why are you looking at me like that, she asks. You really are an alien. Uh, yeah, that's what I've been telling you this whole time. Well, fuck me. Finally! That was my task all along. So, my place or yours. And please, no protection. So that's what, yep. I had a feeling that's what she meant by seeds. Uh, but okay, so she appears as your ideal then. Kind of like Aphrodite in the Percy Jackson series, right? Kind of thought that was a, an, an interesting way to portray the goddess of beauty because beauty is subjective. So she appears as to whatever you think is the most beautiful think that's neat anyway uh after that story <laughs> what was that freya <laughs> your mind welcome oh five second foreshadowing huh we get a story about an alien and we get a, gu a guy in a spacesuit. um welcome hello there Good evening. Good evening, sir? Ah, the usual Earthling linguistic problem. We will never get used to it. Um, is it okay if I call you sir? Definitely. You can call us whatever you like. We do not mind a bit. Do you want to order anything, sir? Oh yes, we have to communicate our order. Please pardon us. So it's like a, a hive mind alien, I guess? Hmm, what do you recommend? We will not be able to taste the difference anyway. Huh. Um, what do you mean? It is all right, forget it. What is the most expensive drink here? Everything's the same price in this coffee shop. Really? That is interesting. Unlike other places we have visited so far. Have you decided what to order then? 
Okay, we would like to order anything. 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 This is a good opportunity to get a new rep uh, recipe, I think. Um... Let's get coffee with honey and lemon. What does that make us? Honey, lemon, coffee. Your drink is ready, sir. I hope it's to your liking. Don't worry, it will not matter to us. Okay, let us drink this. <laughs> no, I get it. Yeah, fair enough. Um... Yes? Oh, nothing. Okay. Um, excuse me, sir. Yes? Why did you put your finger in the drink? That's a very strange question. We are drinking it, of course. Drinking it? Yes, drinking it. Oh, yes, of course. We almost forgot. Earthlings use their speaking organ to drink. We use our appendages to drink. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Make That makes sense. I've seen weirder and alien things, I think. Not that I can think of an example offhand. But, yeah, different biology makes perfect sense. Usually, a polypropylene drinking apparatus is provided for us to use. Pardon? It is what you call plastic in the shape of a long tubular stick. You mean a straw? Yes! We wonder why Earthlings rely on it so much. Mostly, you can drink without it. Yet the plastic stick apparatus was provided of 87-76% of all drinking occasions we encountered, and it has become one of the biggest single-use pollutants on your planet. Anyway... How do you how do you drink with a straw? The same way we just did. But thanks to the plastic stip a stick apparatus, we do not need to put our appendages into the liquid mixture you call drinks. It is very convenient. Perhaps convenience takes higher priority in Earthlings' decision-making processes. I see. I guess people won't suspect a thing if you put your hands on a straw. Affirmative. By the way, you said you just arrived? Where did you come from, sir? Far. It would be too complicated to tell you all the details, but we can tell you one thing. We have a mission here. A mission? Yes. What kind of mission? Find what Earthlings call a female, and then breed. I'm not sure you're gonna get so far being that straightforward about it. But maybe, maybe someone's into that. But I, I think most random people on the street will just um, be creeped out at best. So you came from a faraway place to find a date? Date? Our mission does not have anything to do with your understanding of time. No, I'm not talking about that kind of date. Oh, pardon us. But no, our mission also does not have anything to do with fruits. Huh? I wasn't talking about that kind of date either. Oh, pardon us again. Your language is extremely confusing sometimes. <laughs> yeah, most languages are though. I give English shit because I speak it, so I know where it's weird. But every language has weirdness, I'm sure. Don't worry about it. We also struggle with our own languages. Earthlings really need to work on their communication. There are so many ways to make communication more direct and simple. Of all the places we have been to, this place has the worst communication methods. Can't argue with that. So, how's the mission so far? Not good. He's putting his fingers together like, oh, gee, oh, I mean... We are using this unique communication application. According to our data, it is the biggest source of breeding interaction on Earth. 
although the success rate of breeding is not as high as the interaction. Huh? I never heard about... Wait, he's talking about a dating app. Are you talking about a dating app? The system used a fire symbol as their sign. Tinder? You are talking about a dating app. But again, we found some contradictions in the application. What do you mean? According to our understanding of the application, it requires the person that interacts with it to swipe left or right. If you swipe left, it means you do not want to breed. If you swipe, swipe right, it means you do want to breed. Not quite, but I, I can see as an alien with a different priority system why you would interpret it that way. And when two interactees swipe right between each other, they can commence the introduction to the breeding process. It didn't go well, I assume. Most of them started communicating with very big letters on the communication platform. And they said some words that cannot be considered proper. Such as? I can't say I really use dating apps, so I don't know what the culture is on there. I... I don't know what to say about that. But you said most of them. Some of them actually did not get mad? Oh. Oh, what, what they're saying is they got pissed off at him and started, like, cussing him out. Got it. Or them out? Because he's ref because they're referring to themselves as plural. So them. Also, we're just assuming we can call them sir. They could be completely gender neutral also, in which case they them is more appropriate than he. Oh, some of them are laughing with text. Did you get to meet them? We set up meetings. Many of them did not appear. But some did. Yes, but we got confused with the way they communicate. No outcome from the meetings, even though we decided to go to various recommended places, according to our database. And this coffee shop happens to be one of the recommended places? Yes. Interesting. Then you're here to meet someone? Yes. But she should have arrived some time ago. Maybe each Earthling also has different interpretations of time. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I like to be early. Many people like to be late. And I don't understand it. But it'd be like that. You're right about that. Yo. Good evening, miss. Evening. Would you like to order something? Gaffe latte, please. Uh, I know that was coffee and milk. But is it just milk? Yeah. Coffee, milk, milk. Hold on, this is new. What is this? Cinnamon. Neat! Here you are. Your order is ready, miss. Thank you. How is it? Good. Glad you like it. Are you here to read again, miss? Yeah, you know the drill. Please enjoy your time. Can I help you with something? Oh, nothing. Pardon us. Okay. Um. Um, excuse us. Y yes? Are you waiting for someone? Not this again. No, I'm not waiting for anyone. Are you sure? Yes! I'm sure I'm not waiting for anyone. Because we are waiting for someone from this app. And she is an orc, just like you. Look here. First, I'm not the only female orc on Earth. Heck, I'm not even a pure orc. But, is your name Iraq High 69 <laughs> Good lord. Oh my god. Is this guy sane? 
Please pardon them, miss. I don't think they're from around here. So, you have not answered our question. Are you Yurakai 69? No. My name is Myrtle, and I never use Yurakai 69. Yurakai, got it. <laughs> it took me a couple times saying it to get the joke. Obviously, I get 69 because haha, <laughs> sex number. Okay, uh, I never use Yurakai 69 anywhere. Oh, you really are not her. Of course I'm not. Seriously, men nowadays. If you're that desperate to find a date, why don't you ask your friends or go to a club or something? But we don't have any friends on Earth. Hey, when you said he's from not from around here, are you saying he's not from Earth? Well, from what I've gathered up till now, they're not from this planet. Man. Also, I, I want to check this. Um, you said pardon us, but when you say said club... Yeah, hold on. Sorry to uh, interrupt you. Did we get information on Myrtle? Yes. Oh, that's a nice picture. Game developer. Game programmer working on Full Metal Conflict series. Full Metal Conflict. Is that a gag on... My, my eyes... My eyes... My mind either goes... My mind goes to three locations. Full Metal Alchemist, Full Metal Jacket, and Armored Core? That might be a pun on Armored Core. I wonder. But when you said club, what activities are you talking about? According to the search result, there are just too many clubs on Earth. Some of them look pretty interesting. Like this club about space exploration. They call themselves Trekkies. <laughs> Yep, they sure do. Star Trek, let's go. I've never seen Star Trek. Heard it's very good. I also just don't watch a lot of TV, though, so. Forget everything I said. What time were you supposed to meet this female orc? About an hour ago, according to the local time. She's bailing on you, man. What does that mean? It means big chance she's not coming. I'm sorry to be the one to break it to you. She's probably right, sir. Have you tried contacting her? We have. She read it, according to the application. Did she reply? No. Ouch. She didn't reply. I'm 100% sure she bailed. She's not coming. I believe Miss Myrtle here is right. Hmm. That was... We are a pretty objective people, but somehow Earth's vagueness has taught us a new kind of feeling. This has happened before? Many times. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, but it might be a sign you need to change your strategy. Earthlings use strategies to breed? <laughs> the most complicated strategies, in fact. Your kind never cease to amaze us. If that's the case, then we do not need to be here anymore. You can stay if you like. Oh, it's okay. We need to report back immediately. But we will visit this place again in the future. You have a very nice place, owner. Please, just call me Velvet. Thank you for your time, Velvet. And thank you for your input also, Miss Myrtle. We will definitely study the breeding strategies of Earth. Sure. It's called norm, by the way. The, um, breeding norms. Although you can use strategy as the keyword. We will keep that in mind. Okay then, we are off. I don't know what he's gonna, what, what they're gonna find online. They're probably gonna be like actual like sex strategies rather than like dating. Um. <laughs> Take care on your way. Who 
Who this? Hey, Freya. Whoa, boy! Who the hell was that? Oh, hi there, Freya. What is an astronaut doing in this coffee shop? Drinking and waiting for their friend, apparently. What kind of friend? Like of the dog? What? A date from a dating app. I should have been here. What does their date look like? The date didn't show up. Ouch. Poor astronaut. Why didn't they remove the astronaut suit first before going on a date? Probably, like... It's probably... I'm thinking of, um... Fuck. It's been so long since I played Mass Effect. Tally? The, the girl in the, the, the space suit because she is very immunocompromised, so... Earth at, or just normal atmosphere that isn't like sterilized is deadly to her. Maybe the same thing. Um, maybe, maybe something like that. I mean, showing off your job is pretty common, but it doesn't have to be that literal, you know? I don't think they're an astronaut. Not in the usual sense. Uh, what do you mean? They might be an alien. Alien? Like, Englishman in New York alien, or alien alien? Alien alien. Outer space? Probably. Or other dimensions, I don't know. Wow. Like, super wow. I mean, I know you get a lot of different visitors here, but... Wow! Life is never boring here. That's why I'm writing about it. Oh yeah, how's it going so far? Get any words down yet? The writing? Yes, the writing. With capital T and W. It's going pretty well, actually. Nice. May I see it? <laughs> so it's not going well then, huh? <laughs> eh? Looking for someone? What do you mean? Can I read the draft you've written so far? No. Please don't. Why? It's not good enough. Hey, be more confident in your work. You know you're a good writer. Besides, if you're not that confident with it, maybe I can share some feedback. You're right. I actually have, a, have prepared a printout of the draft. So you were planning to show it all along. <laughs> I wasn't sure about it. It's the first presentable draft, anyway. That's actually a good amount of progress, though. You had me thinking you've wrote, written, like, a paragraph, but if you have an entire draft, that's, like, amazing? Come on, I know the drill. And I'm pretty familiar with your stuff. Alright, alright. Let me get it out of my bag. Be honest with your feedback. I will. Now, will you hand it over? She's like a puppy. Throw ball, but don't take ball. Only throw. Give feedback, but don't read draft. Only feedback. Um, it's okay, Freya. <sighs> Here it is. Thank you. Now, let's see. I assume we don't get to read it, because it's supposed to be a full-length novel, right? And that would just be way too much to read at once. But that also means we're a fast reader. How was it? How was it? Let me read it at my own pace, okay? Hmm. What's wrong? Is it that bad? The main character. Oh my, is the character badly written? I don't think the character suits my personality. That's because you're not the inspiration. Too bad. You have a prime example standing in front of you every day. <laughs> this isn't feedback. This is just rude. <laughs> prime example. You. You're like the most mysterious person I've ever met. Why, thank you very much. Wait, I think someone's coming. Hey, the draft. I'm not done yet. Why are they squishy? Oh, 
Uh, a mer girl, it looks like. Oh, she's cute. Welcome. Would you like to drink here or take away, miss? Here, please. What would you like? Or maybe you'd like to sit down first before deciding. I'll order right away. No need to hurry. Take your time. Hmm. Is it okay if I order something a bit complicated? You can order whatever you like. As long as we have the ingredients. If that's the case, do you know masala chai? The tea with spices? Yes. I'd like to order a masala chai then, please. Tea with spices. So, tea and cinnamon? Is ginger a spice? I don't know if it's considered one. We'll just do cinnamon for now and see if that gets us what we want. No, that's just cinnamon tea. So would it would it be cinnamon ginger tea? No. Would the other direction go? Because I, I feel like... Does this get added automatically? No, huh? I, I feel like if you trash it, it should still get added. The tea with spices, huh? Did I do it in this direction already? There it is. Thank God. So, ginger cinnamon. Got it. Here you are. I believe this is the drink you were talking about. Also, I think... Ah, that just got added to my, my brew pad. Nice. From the look of it, I think so. Uh, let me give it a taste. This... Is it bad, miss? Oh, no! It's really good! It just brought back some memories. I hope they're good ones. Oh, they certainly are. They certainly are. Huh? Where were we? The main character. The character feels very you. You bet. If the readers know me, they'll notice right away. Is that okay? Sure, why not? It sounds so narcissistic. I don't think so. All writing is an extension of yourself, right? So I think the main character being similar to you isn't necessarily a bad thing. I do think it's important to branch out and try to write different things. But I think for your first novel, full-length novel, write what you know, right? Don't worry about it. They won't notice it unless they know me personally. And having the main character think like me makes it easier to write, if you say so. Um, sorry. Hmm? Did you say something? Yes. Sorry for interrupting. Are you a fiction writer? Yes, I am. That sounds so cool. Well, yeah, but I only write small-scale fiction. Short stories for the newspaper. Or non-fiction stories about people in this town. She's writing a, ro a novel right now, you know. In fact, I was just reading the draft for it. Hey! Well, how many books have you written? Well, this would be my first book, if I finished it. I always wanted to be a fiction writer. Why not give it a shot? Nothing to lose, right? But... Conjuring words is hard. It is, but... Again, nothing to lose, right? And the only way to, to get better at it is to do it. I'm a writer. And even I can't use complex words like conjure like you just did. A lot of people have said my vocabulary is... Uncommon. What do you do? What's your name again? Ah, pardon me. My name is Aqua. Hi, Aqua. I'm Freya. Hold on. 
let's learn what she does before she tells us. Uh, researcher by day, aspiring indie developer by night, and R&D at a university in Seattle, so research and development, I see. And the barista here is Velvet. Greetings, Miss Aqua. Nice to meet you. So yeah, what do you do? Um, I'm a researcher at the university. I also make games in my free time. You're very busy. Hey, that's even cooler than my job, you know. <laughs> Thanks. You said you can't write, but research papers need a lot of writing skills, right? Indeed. But it's descriptive writing, not narrative writing. Fair enough. Different skill sets. But I think you can take what you learned from one and do it, apply it to the other. What kind of fields are you researching, by the way? I focus on computer graphics. Well, it involves a lot of calculations and boring stuff. Not something the media would cover, I guess. It wouldn't attract many readers. Oh my! I forgot you're a journalist. I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to offend you. <laughs> Come on, you don't have to worry so much about everything. It's all right. Excuse me for interrupting. Yes? You said you're a researcher in computer graphics, right? You're a game developer, aren't you? That's right. Did you write a paper on the latest fluid rendering technique for 3D environments? I believe one of the contributors is also named Aqua. Oh my, yes, that's me. Did you read it? I did. It was pretty important for the project we're working on. Um, may I ask what kind of project that is? It's a video game series called Full Metal Conflict. Are you kidding me? You work on FMC? Now, now that acronym is uh, reminding me of Devil May Cry. DMC. Oops. I'm sorry. I got a bit too excited all of a sudden. Don't be. It's nice when you like when you meet someone who likes the thing you worked on. That's really cool. We have three different creators here, all like talking about the things they've made and crossing over. That's really awesome, actually. I love that series so much. Uh, my name is Aqua, by the way, but you already knew that. My name is Myrtle. Uh, what do you do in the project? I'm one of the technical artists. Ha, huh, no wonder. Yeah, I don't want to intrude on your discussion any further, but could I ask for your business card or something? Me and some friends have something we want to discuss. We submitted queries to your department's contact form, but we haven't received any replies. Oh, yes, that happens a lot. The form sends the queries to another department, and sometimes it takes them a bit to respond. Pardon us for that. Of course, should have expected that. I don't have my card with me right now, but, um, we can swap email addresses if you want. Sure. Here's my email. Yep, got it. This Full Metal Conflict series you two are talking about, is it the same series that's getting a movie adaptation soon? Yeah, that one. To be honest, I, or, t to be honest, I hated the idea of turning the game into a movie. Nonetheless, Hollywood. I don't disagree with you. I can see the appeal, but I also think there are some things that video games can do. Video games and movies each have their own strengths, right? And that's why adaptation is hard. Um, because you have to change the story or whatever in order to fit the different mediums like different medium strengths but if you change too much then it's just like are you even telling the same story it's hard right um so i think adapting something into a different format is generally something that should only be done if the person in charge has like their own clear desire for the project like they have something specific they want to do it should never be done just for the sake of doing it if that makes sense they have the budget for the flashy visuals but i doubt they'll do the series justice why 
Because some games tell their stories in a unique way, and some stories can only be told through this medium. And FMC is no exception to that. Exactly. Interesting. Do you play video games? Well, not much. I usually play weird, obscure art games. The type of game you might see in an art gallery. Really? That's weird. You're not the first to say I'm weird. It's not that. Usually people that play art games are gamers that got bored of the current state of video games. That's true. But I believe art games cater to a whole different market compared to mainstream games. Hence, a lot of the players are not gamers, and they're more accessible to play, but harder to perceive. Understanding them requires a whole different level of many things. Um, sorry, I rambled on for too long. No, 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 that's- keep going. I love this conversation. I love this conversation a lot. Please keep going. But at least that's what I think. Good point. Yeah, that was a really good perspective. I play those types of games thanks to people I hang out with. <laughs> yeah, you got that look of an artsy hipster, you know. Nailed it. So you understand my point about adaptation, right? Kinda. Anyway, I need to go back. I'll email you first thing tomorrow about our question. Wait, what time is it? Oh my, I also need to get home. We can walk to the bus stop together if you want. I hope that doesn't bother you, Miss Myrtle. Just Myrtle is fine. And of course, it won't bother me at all. Shall we go now? Sure. Thank you so much, Velvet. And you too, Miss Freya. Good luck with the writing. Take care on your way, okay? Will do. See you around, folks. Please be careful on your way back. <laughs> Her walking noises are very, very moist. <laughs> like, it makes sense, she's a mer person. But also, <laughs> very weird audio sensation. <laughs> Oh, I enjoyed that conversation a lot. I like video games. So, yes? That was a nice talk. But you haven't given me proper feedback for the draft yet. And I could see that you were reading it on and off. Well, it's kinda good. Uh-huh. Go on, more- You need more than it's kinda good. That's not useful. <laughs> Seriously? That's it? I'm not an editor. Did you expect me to have a list of notes for you? Yes! Really? You're mysterious, that much is true. But I've been a regular here for a while. I recognize the expressions you were making as you read it. You have a lot of comments, right? Admit it. Okay, you got me. But this won't be short. And I will be really honest about it. I, that expression she makes gets me every time. Absolute lost puppy of a person. <clears throat> well, the night is young. Bring it on. Okay, let's start at the beginning. Sugar and spice make everything nice. Spicy, sweet, and natural bliss in a cup. I half expected it to just jump cut to, like, Freya just completely fucking distraught. I'm kind of sad that it didn't. Uh, maybe she'll come in today like a complete zombie about it. Research found that most Fury sedative on the market today are, or on the market are not safe. Yeah, that, that sucks if true. Ooh. But also, if that, if that's true, that means that there's gonna be a lot of werewolves just struggling if, uh, if they recall them. Profile Morris Lester from Slum to Glam. I'm sad that didn't rhyme. From Slum to Glum. 
pajama-clad, 27-year-old actuary found decapitated on his own bed. Jesus! It's a bit gruesome. What happened? God, I really enjoyed that. I think those two might be my favorite characters now. <laughs> Just because, I, again, I love video games. I play a lot of them. Um, and a lot of different types. Anyway. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please consider subscribing and leaving a like on the way out and everything. And until next time, have a fantastic day, alright? See you then.